Okay, take a look up at the ceiling. Does it look like a bunch of hard cottage cheese staring back at you? Yep, looks like you've got popcorn ceilings. Hey, who put that up there? But it's no joke, these ugly bumpies are really hazardous to your health. Unlike the buttery goodness you shovel into your mouth at the movies, this kind of popcorn, that is, the ceiling variety, shouldn't be anywhere near your face, let alone around at all. If you don't currently live in a home with popcorn ceilings, I guarantee you've been in a place, whether it's a friend's or relative's house, where these bumps and ridges were hanging over your head. Popcorn ceilings reached their height of popularity in the 1930s and managed to stick around all the way through the 1990s, which is why a lot of homes built during this time frame still have them today. But what's the point anyway? It's not like most people call up an interior designer with a specific request that their ceiling looks like cottage cheese. The truth is, popcorn ceilings came into play to cover up unsightly marks or uneven surfaces. Basically, it was just to hide imperfections. This thick, bumpy spray treatment was a cheap and time-efficient way to finish ceilings without having to smooth them out with plaster. This was especially the case in apartment buildings, since popcorn ceilings also provide an acoustical treatment, helping to muffle sound a little better than your typical smooth, less cheesy finish. But once you know about the dangers of popcorn ceilings, you'll never want one hovering above your head ever again. That's because not only do popcorn ceilings collect dust and look, well, really ugly, they contain a toxic substance called, cue the horror music, asbestos. Asbestos is made up of a whole alphabet soup of naturally occurring and hard-to-pronounce crystal fibers. Let me give it a shot. Chrysotil, anthophyllite, trimolite, crocidolite, actinolite, and amosite. Whew! What makes asbestos a desirable building material is its crazy strength and ability to withstand high temperatures. It can also be resistant to chemicals and even electricity. Oh yeah, and hate to burst your bubble, but you can probably find asbestos hiding all around your house, not just your ceilings. That's right, this dangerous material can be lurking in your wall and attic insulation, the vinyl tiles on your kitchen floor, and even the siding on the outside of your house. Whoa boy! So unless you're living in a relatively newly built or remodeled home, chances are there's asbestos nearby. As for where all the danger comes in, well, asbestos can wreak the most havoc on your body when you breathe it in. So if you and a professional attempt to remove a popcorn ceiling, for example, you must wear protective gear to cover your eyes, nose, and mouth. That's because when damaged, the tiny fibers that make up this material can break off into teeny tiny microscopic fragments. Those can get sucked up your nose and right into your lungs. And according to WebMD, breathing in these fibers over a long period of time can increase your risk of developing lung disease, mesothelioma, and asbestosis. Yeah, it even has its own disease named after it. When a person breathes in these particles, they have a hard time breaking down, and the body can't dispose of them easily. They can damage lung tissue, cause scarring, and even mess with your cells. But if asbestos is so bad for our health, then why on earth are we still using it in our homes, offices, and other buildings? It's a legit question, right? Well, it's kind of hard to believe, but the US is one of the few industrial nations that has yet to enforce an asbestos ban. In the US, you can still find the stuff in fireproofing materials and roofs, among other places. But that doesn't mean there aren't regulations in place to help prevent those nasty fibers from doing harm. In the 1970s, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration OSHA, and the US Environmental Protection Agency EPA, started taking steps to control exposure to toxic materials like asbestos. And what are the rules today? Generally speaking, asbestos can be present in different materials as long as it doesn't make up more than 1% of it. And spray-applied asbestos, along with a handful of other building products, are currently banned from the US, according to asbestos.com. Okay, now that you're significantly freaked out about popcorn ceilings, what should you do if you're living with them today? Is it time to pack your bags and run for the hills? No, don't get all dramatic on me. As long as your ceiling isn't cracked through the sprayed-on material, 
or you're not picking away at it, your health shouldn't be at risk since you're not breathing in those particles every day. That being said, if you're buying a new home, you'll probably want to avoid popcorn ceilings altogether, just to keep your mind at peace, you know. Plus, as a bonus, you won't have to look at that ugly thing every day. But you shouldn't just stop there. Popcorn ceilings aren't the only potential dangerous materials hiding in your home. Here are a few more you need to keep an eye out for. No, no, keep your eye in. Just be on the lookout for these. Carbon monoxide. Okay, well, maybe this one isn't something you can keep an eye out for, but still, carbon monoxide is an extremely dangerous gas that can be lethal if inhaled in large amounts. Initial symptoms include dizziness and nausea, kind of like when you're coming down with the flu. But if a person passes out from these symptoms, they may not wake up. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, carbon monoxide poisoning takes the lives of over 400 people every year. And the most worrisome part is that it's both tasteless and odorless. That's why they make special carbon monoxide detectors. So if you don't have one already, you really should get one for your home. And be sure to check the batteries twice a year. Some typical appliances that can leak carbon monoxide are gas space heaters, water heaters, stoves, and fireplace, just to name a few. Mold Nothing says it's time to go grocery shopping, like opening up a loaf of bread and finding some green or white fuzzy stuff on it. This unsightly and sometimes stinky stuff is known as mold. But the kind of mold that can cause you serious bodily harm is a little different than the kind you find on spoiled food. Mold is actually a living organism that thrives in environments with moisture, oxygen, and organic material. It's not uncommon to find mold in your home wherever water is present and trapped, like an unknown leak in the walls. Mold spores can grow as a result of this moist patch and can cause serious health issues. And if you're allergic to mold, get ready for all kinds of symptoms like sinus congestions, chronic cough, and eye irritation. Sometimes people live with these chronic problems and have no idea it's mold because it's growing in places they can't see with their own eyes. If you do find mold in your home, say in the bathroom where it's often wet, non-ammonia cleaner or dish soap can be used to remove it. At least that's what the experts at Healthline.com suggest. Just be sure to protect your skin with gloves and wear long sleeves and a respirator to keep yourself from breathing it in. If you have a particularly large area of mold, it's best to hire a professional to come take care of it in the safest way possible. Leave it to the pros, folks! Pesticides Of course, when nasty little roaches and ants invade your home, you go for the big guns. Unfortunately, those pesticides you're dousing them in are bad for you, too. Sure, using them from time to time is okay, but long exposure to the chemicals or using them incorrectly can cause serious health problems. To prevent this from happening, always clean up any bug spray you use in your home after it served its purpose. And be sure to store any pesticides away from food products or anything else that touches your skin. Underneath a sink or in a garage is usually a safe bet. And most importantly, always keep these chemicals far away from children and pets. Is your house starting to sound like a death trap out of a horror flick? Hey, don't freak out, and please take off your hazmat suit. If you learn about the materials in your home and how not to use them, you should be just fine. Always pay attention to your surroundings. If things are looking, feeling, or smelling kind of funky, call a professional. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Now, if you can add any other dangerous materials or chemicals people should look out for in their home, then please share them in the comments down below. Remember to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and click subscribe to always stay on the bright side of life.